Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to how to fix the like high RAM memory usage on the Windows uh, 8, 7, 8, I mean 10, 11 and so on. So we need to to I mean to be able to clear all to clear all and, uh, folder and files that are not used, like temporary files that are going to make our PC a little bit slower. So uh, here I have um, um, here I have simple tricks that you can use to uh, to clear some of the stuff that you don't need. Um, I'm using Windows 10, and um, here you know you see we have the type here to search, so you can type the percentage, and then temp, and then um, you see or you have this. These are on the C uh, C drive and the app data local temp. These are temp files that we don't need, so you can just um, highlight all of them and uh, delete. Yeah, sometimes you get this kind of the action can, uh, cannot be completed because the file are open in Google Chrome and, and uh, so on. So you can either do this for, to skip and then it will come again, ask you again. So this means there are some of the files that are, have been used with the operating system at the moment. So you can just do this, skip. And uh, uh, when you restart the system, maybe this file are going to be deleted. But if they're not deleted, then you don't have to care so much about this. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, another thing is that so the next thing that we want to do is that uh, we just type the temp and see and here we have um, we have the delete temporary file history cookies saved password you can just delete this all of them let me here just click this delete uh, here you see uh, this is not selected just in case that you don't have you don't want to delete all your passwords that are saved on the uh, let's say on the browsers and stuff like that so this one uh, here saved password that are automatically filled in when you are signing on the website you are privately visited so if you want to click delete them then you can click this one and the uh, forms and all this kind of stuff you can do but uh, for now i just want to delete the cookies or i don't even i can leave the cookies history or temporary internet files and reserve the right website you can just click and delete it just depends what you want to delete okay this also is going to increase this the speed of your ram and, and um, so unnecessary usage of your resources so that's uh that's another step okay another thing that we have to do is that uh, let's go to uh, we click here again type the services okay then you come to services here you see we have um, uh, we have one pro i mean a few programs that uh, we are going to to i mean uh, to shut down because you can see here uh, these are services local services here you have starters running and some are started manually or started automatically so um we need to to look for something called the sys main and uh, this sy uh, I, mean, I mean this sys SYS main is a built-in Windows service that helps to I mean to improve the performance of your PC by I mean preloading the frequently used apps in your your RAM and um, the its main task is to analyze your PC usage to predict which apps you are likely uh, I mean to use and uh, preload them so that it's allowing for quicker app launch so for example when you click on the app for the first time then it's going to take time but for the second time then this app is going to helps it to, to launch so quickly because it's going to I mean as I said it's just improve the performance of your PC by what by preloading the frequent used apps so we look for this um, if you don't need this service because it's not necessary for you all the time to be on then we have to switch it off like we, it should be running have to be stopped so I'm going to look for this app and I say start with S and you can see here is this one okay so and the description here says they maintain and improve the system performance over time so now mine it's running so what I can do you can either click this one here, stop, running. Okay, now it's, um, it's, I mean, it's not running. You see? So I just stopped it. So, so just in case if you don't find this, um, I mean, the SYS main, then you have to look for super search. So you, if you don't get it here, mine is this one. But in your case, maybe you might not find it. So you need to look for super search and then do the same thing. Then you have to stop that from running. And, uh, you can um, let's see with the properties you can switch, set, set this one to be not automatic it should be manual okay you can start it manually you don't need to be automatic all the time because when you start your computer I mean your PC then it's going to be again running so if it's manual it means you have to come here and start it okay so we apply this and then so the, the moment you do this uh, you're going to realize that uh, there is a huge amount of resources you have, you have saved and uh, how do you do that you can either go here to the task manager and type the task manager this one 
or the simple way of getting this is by right click on this bar i mean on any on any way on this bar and then you see we have it here task manager okay and uh, immediately when you, you you start this task manager you can see here you have these tabs here we have uh, processes performance app history startup user so from here we can see performance so you're going to notice here if you check before and after doing what i just just did here then you're going to realize here on the cp the cpu um and the memory like for example here i have like 11 11 so 46 percent is used i'm using 40 percent here is nine percent and hard disk zero percent so also you can see here utilization 10 percent 26 is keep changing yeah, according according to uh the uh, the services are running in your system so you have all these processes like 232 and threads are here and handled like 12,000 12 actually not 120,000 you see and uptime is up to six hours this is when the system has been running for six hours and uh, other stuff here we have the best speed of this pc is 3.20 uh, gigahertz and um, here visualization is enabled it's depending on your system you can I enable it because i'm running docker on the system so i have to enable this um so you can monitor this stuff here see what's happening and another thing i want to show here is this you can see here um sometimes there are apps that are running here i mean services or apps are running but they are running even when you don't need them so what you do you just have to disable them you see you just speak for example i'm not using this all the time so i disable it um you just have to be careful because there are also system uh services that you, they have to be running most of the time so they shouldn't be disabled so i don't need this i disable it um I don't need this also. Disable it. And then I'm checking WhatsApp. I don't need it, but it's disabled already. PowerShell, maybe this is required. This Windows security notification is squared. Skype, I don't need it, so disabled. And then this is really take head audio manager. You need it. I'm also using post postman for the for the API, so I need it. So the Microsoft Drive, OneDrive, I need it. And uh, Office twenty twenty I mean 2010 sometimes you need it so here it's where you you have to it depends on what you you want you can just disable most of these services and you will not need them for example this one and uh, nowadays this the computer is very smart if you try to disable something that is required for the system then it's going to give you a notification alerts you that hey you can't uh, shut down that service because it's required by the system okay so you can see other stuff also um and here you have more details like for example what is actually running at the moment here um, I don't know for some reason I, sh I mean start only Chrome one Chrome but you have like so many running at the same time so this Chrome also takes a lot of resources and uh, you can just follow up and see memory you see like 47,105 so it depends actually what you do with your Chrome if you open a lot of tabs like have like um, you just start the browser and then you have a lot of tabs and when I say tabs just like this one you see this and then you tabs so you click most of this all these they have separate you can see let me remove this you can see here they are all these even though you have one Chrome, but still you have a lot of uh, these tabs. But they are all carrying their, I mean, their own resources. So, for example, if I go to YouTube here, that means I, there are a lot of memories is required for that to handle this. So I'm going to take this out. Okay, that's one thing. So you just need to. We have done several things now. You disable this. Or this one is also optional. You can just disable it. You go to the properties and turn it on disable it. For me, I'm not going to say I'm just turning it manually. So I'll start it when I need it. So leave it like manually, not automatically, like when the system starts. Okay. Okay, here we have another service again. Let's see. Uh, let's say, let's type CSDM. Um, let's see here. Okay, just type C. Yeah, I mean dot uh, CPL. And you have this system properties. Okay, you can either search also system properties here, you find it. So from here, you see we have this also these tabs here. We have computer name, hardware, advanced system protection. And uh, uh, if you click on this, you can see, uh, you can see we have this device manager. Okay, on the advanced, let's see here also we have this performance. Uh, you must be logging to administrator to make some most of these changes. So performance, visually effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and visual memory. Let's see here the settings. So you can see here we have um, visual effects. Um, uh, advanced data execution prevention but i'm interested with this so you can see here select the settings you want to use for the appearance and the performance of the window on this computer so here you can have this option that uh, let the windows choose what's the best for my computer here or you can adjust for the best appearance or adjust for the best performance so i'm going to go for this one uh, this one adjust for the best performance and then you apply okay and then you wait for a while you can see there's some changes happens here and then okay you see 
something things has changed a little bit here because the system now we have um, um, we have what we have just for the best performance so if you let the the, the window choose what best for, for my computer that's okay but this one happens to be um, if you do if you select this one, it's, it saves a lot of resources and then uh, let's see let's see if we or we, let's say if we go back to tax manager let's see here performance you can also see maybe things has somehow changed also okay um, let's go back here so another thing that's going to slow your computer is when the computer is has a lot of things like for example these computers here I'm showing you for example I have a lot of stuff inside here so if you click the window I mean the, the Windows Windows logo and E the combination of two keys like, like this then um, it's going to take you to it's going to open okay you can see from this PC it has a lot of stuff so if even showing this red it's not good because it's going to slow a lot it's going to slow your PC a lot so you need to either delete some of the files or move them to the external hard drive and let the PC has at least a half of this so that it's enough for the whatever you're doing if you are doing the intensive work like video editing and stuff so it's going to take a lot of uh, memories it requires a lot of uh, storage here so it's a uh, good practice to have to have this drive to be somehow half empty so I'm going to go back to uh, going back to here you can see here the uh, was it here see the CPU yeah yeah it's still things still look the same so but I'm going to to go back um, um, to the system uh, properties and advance and then I set this and then stays like this and then apply and then okay okay yeah so another thing that you can do is uh, let's see you just type um, by the way you can just either type here on the search or you can just use this uh, program called run this one is the same thing so if you type this um, command like clean if you want to clean let's say you want to clean the cache cache on your system but the file that you don't need so you use this command called clean mgr and then it will ask you select the drive you want to clean up if you see uh, or d for example c let's see and then you can see here it brings all the I, from download programs I just deleted everything so you can select all this and delete cycle bean and also on your cycle bean and everything you can just clean up the system okay you can see it's doing this clean I mean this cleanup so it's calculate how much space you'll be able to, to save so you can see here window updates and all this stuff okay you can use this key clean up for free for three up to three you see here okay so it's asking you are you sure you want to click delete permanently delete these files clean up yes delete all so it's going to take some time to i mean to delete everything that you don't need so once this is ready then you can just go back to the tax manager and check performance you can see the increase of performance so you can just realize that your pc has some i mean performance has increased so thank you guys this was just simple tricks for you to manage your pc and make sure that um the resources are not used used anyhow and uh, are used effectively so guys remember to subscribe and like and and share so that we can make more of this kind of stuff have a good day bye